Hello everyone, welcome back to the Zen Lounge. In this video, I'm going to be filming updates on the XLS30 amendment that is currently live on the XRP ledger. At the moment of this video, October 7th, 2023, validators are voting on this amendment. And if it is passed, uh, it's going to bring automated swap trading and liquidity provisioning liquidity pools to the XRP ledger, unlocking tons of new DeFi and opportunities for XRP holders to participate in these automated market makers where we could earn commissions, aka passive income, for uh, providing liquidity to these liquidity pools. I've been very, very excited about this proposal and this new feature coming to the XRP Ledger. If you've been following the Zen Lounge, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up, leave some comments if you're also excited about XLS30 being unlocked in the XRP Ledger. You know that I've been following all the progress, all the development, of the liquidity pools coming to the XRP ledgers. What I'm really excited for, and Ripple X just posted that they've had an extensive performance testing of XLS30 Automated Market Maker, and it's now been completed. And if you check, some huge news just happened yesterday. We got our first yes vote. And I believe the first yes vote will help create a domino effect of momentum. Once the first vote comes in, it could create more confidence for people to follow the leader. And that leader is Ripple.com. So Ripple.com was the first vote. So Ripple basically gave it their approval. If we read the actual report, oops, that's not it. AMM performance testing report. I read just Key points, based on our analysis, we are confident that activating the AMM amendment will not negatively impact the network's consensus per performance or ability to process other transactions. So ripple.com basically gives it their thumbs up and another time down here. We are confident we are confident that incorporating the XLS30 AMM featured into Ripple will not introduce risk to the network in the near term. So they are very confident in XLS30, so confident that they voted thumbs up. And I believe more people will follow. So we had a big, big, big day today um, with the first vote coming through. And like I said, more votes could be coming. But you know, there was also some bad news today. Some huge events are happening. You know, it seems like almost every other day I'm reporting on some big events, right? And uh, actually, there was an attack on uh, Israel today on 10 7. And I had to show this post because this post blew me away. If we're making an XRP video, you probably know about the inside joke or the inside riddle, the decode about 589. Well, the Ukraine war started on February 25th, 2022. That's when that started. And Israel got attacked on October 7th. If you do the math on that, it's actually 589 days apart. I had to show that with you guys. And uh, to move on to more bullish Web3 crypto talk, people might be wondering, like, what makes me wake up every day to make videos and I'm, why I'm so passionate, why I still believe in this? Because I see that... Some of the biggest players are still bullish on NFTs and blockchain. So we've seen, and I've researched so much of what's happening that they cannot shake me out of this market. I just seen that Starbucks is selling pumpkin spice latte NFTs. Really, they're selling pumpkin spice NFTs. It's only 20 bucks and you're able to get a pumpkin spice latte NFT. And um, I thought that was pretty... Uh, big starbucks is a huge brand everyone has a starbucks on their corner somewhere and i went, was exploring and it's on the polygon blockchain and you could buy with a credit card with ETH, and uh they're on this uh platform called nft gateway and starbucks has a bunch of nfts uh, if you look at their uh you could look at their whole store they have a bunch of nfts so Starbucks actually has their own NFT uh, collection, multiple collections that they have uh, on Polygon. A lot of people don't know that. And definitely to keep up with the world, I definitely encourage you guys to uh, check out my recent YouTube videos. 
you know, as I go around, I go out to eat these days. I can't even get a menu anymore. Like people don't hand me menus. They hand me a QR code to a digital menu. So the way I look at it is if menus are basically going extinct slowly and slowly and slowly menus are basically disappearing. If menus could disappear, then could cash also disappear? So I made a whole video about, you know, cashless society. Can that possibly happen? And then if you really want to learn more about Cosmos and the founder of Cosmos, Tendermint, I highly recommend listening to this talk with Jay Kwan. His recent talk in August, it was August 26, 2023. He talked at Stanford about his new project, No Land. And it was so good. I had to repost to make sure that you guys uh, listened to this because I felt like he was in the zone during this conversation. But like I said, guys, I'm coming up almost to 10,000 subs. I read my statistics. 25% of the people who watch my videos are not subscribed yet. So please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up and uh, have some more news for you guys tomorrow. Peace.